So you're gonna get your reading going today. And I wanted to go ahead and jump in because a lot's coming in in your pre-shuffle. So we're gonna see what's on the way to you. Y'all don't come at me. But the first thing that come out is that somebody wants a second chance with you and you're gonna walk away. I feel like you're gonna politely reject them and say, you know what, I wish you well, but I wish you well in hell. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, I wish you well, but I wish you well away from me. <laughs> Please. I am picking up on that. I'm also getting that there's a lot that you're going away from Pisces that you feel like there's things missing, there's things that are unseen, maybe things that are hidden. You're going from a season of feeling confused, not sure what direction you're going, feeling like there's a lot that's unknown. You're going to a season, Pisces, where things are about to get a lot easier for you, a lot easier for you. I know we've been struggling like crazy. But Six of Swords, again, on the bottom, you're moving forward to something new, something fresh, something calming. I do want to say thank you. Yeah, for some of y'all, it could be like money, a season of feeling lack, maybe a season of feeling alone, not spending time with people. I do want to say thank you to everyone who's liked, commented, subscribed. I appreciate your guys' support so much. If you need anything, check out the description. I've got personalized readings. Um, there's also a keen offer down there. If you want to get a really good deal, your first 10 minutes for only $1.99, I am not on keen, okay? All right, let's see what's coming out for Pisces on what's on the way to you. So, I'm getting a lot of choices. Yeah, look what's on the bottom. Assess your relationships and determine how they are aligned with your goals. Setting boundaries requires an honest evaluation of your present relationships. That's interesting. And I said that a lot of you could be telling someone that you wish them well. Have a, have a great day. <laughs> Keeping your goal in mind, Pisces, and making sure you're moving towards that goal and not letting people hold you back. I did see... The Ace of Pentacles. So I do see that a lot of you could be getting some sort of job offer, a bump in your pay, your money. Something's going to be shifting. I'm getting more stability when it comes to a foundation where you feel like you've been lacking or struggling. For some of you, it could be time for you to set boundaries in your environment so you can put yourself towards the goals and the things that you're wanting to do. I'm getting that as well. Don't give yourself or your time to people who don't feel like that they serve you. Yeah, set some intentions. You're entering a phase of plenty, or you may have a sudden windfall. Goals are within your grasp, but you're definitely going to have to set some boundaries. Maybe let go of some people. And that's interesting how I said that. Look what's on the bottom. Be sure that you're using your time in the best possible manner. There can be people wanting your time that don't deserve your time right now, Pisces. People wanting attention. They don't need your attention. It's like there's things you need to be focusing on. And there could be people that's trying to be a distraction to you. And you're needing to know who to cut out as a distraction. Who to set boundaries with as a distraction. And who can you... Keep in your environment when you feel like they're not trying to suck everything out of you. Because I am getting that as well. Be proud of yourself. Know that you are loved. Relax. Okay. Forgive. Work through your feelings. Some of you guys could definitely be getting triggered. Definitely getting triggered. There could be a lot coming up where you thought you've healed something and you've realized it's not as healed as you, you thought. Um, taking a step back. Needing to focus on what you can control. The now. Don't really focus on the past. Don't really focus too much on the future. Work through your feelings. The things that are coming up. These emotions. I feel like for some of you it could be anger. Resentment. And needing to forgive. Again, you know, it's interesting how I said I feel like somebody's coming back from your past. You're going to tell them you wish them well, but you're still going to walk away from them. You could tell them. You could end up having a conversation with them where you tell them your feelings, where you tell them, listen, I've forgiven you, but I've forgiven you for me. And I got to go. Yeah, be real. Be real. Very interesting. 
Let's get another Moonology card, and then we're going to get some tarot. What do we have for Pisces? What's on the way to you? Having a lot of self-love as well. To know that when somebody retracts what they've been giving you, that it won't knock you off your stability. Because I do feel like whoever this person you could be letting go of could have knocked you off your stability. It could have been an Aries, a Cancer, a Pisces, a Taurus, or a Libra. Not necessarily. The signs are just on these cards, so I thought I'd throw it out there. But I just really feel like they could have knocked you off your stability. Conclusions are within reach, just come in the reverse. And I feel like this is somebody you've been going through the motions with for a while. It's been up in the air. There's been a lot of emotion. A lot of hard emotion. Could definitely be a Virgo. Wanting to come in and have a new romantic cycle. But I feel like a lot of you are focusing on your money, your work. And you're really going to start seeing that it's, it's paying off for you. But it's like now this person's wanting to come back in when things are really good. Hmm, this is interesting. What's on the way to Pisces? What's on the way to Pisces? Pisces, I'm also seeing that you're going to be spending a lot of time with people that you enjoy. So family, friends, you're going to try to start making more time for those people. You're going to try to start making more time to have those phone calls, listen to those stories. I feel like a lot of you are really going to try to get to, um, I don't know. I'm getting that you guys could definitely be seeing what's important to you right now and the things and the people you want to invest in. Maybe after a time of taking a step back, resting, reflecting. I, I just feel like you guys are really like, you know what? I'm tired of just going through the day. I'm ready to live my life and enjoy my life. I'm ready to enjoy. And I need to enjoy the people that I have around me. The friends, the family members, lovers, whatever it be for you that has stuck around and been that support system when you felt like you couldn't even support yourself. And I do get for a few of you that it's only a handful of people. I don't get that it's more than five. Yeah. Hold on. Something's coming in. Some of you could be being blunt with somebody. Somebody could be wanting to come in and invest with you, but not invest with you like you want. You're going to give them some sort of a blunt truth that whatever they think that they're going to offer isn't what you're wanting. And you're not accepting it. What's on the way to Pisces? What's on the way to Pisces? Moving forward. So again, moving forward. You could be reflecting on how to move forward. What you're wanting from your future. I do see again that there's somebody in your environment that's very sad and disappointed and reminiscing over the past. This person could have had a very manipulative energy with the seven of swords. Sneaky energy when it comes to like change and transformation and love. Mm, I just heard liar, liar, pants on fire. This person could have been a liar. I feel like that's that person that you had a hard ending it with that you're going to cut off. Okay, spirit, we love them, but can we let them go, please? What else is coming in? Yeah. There could be somebody coming in wanting to fight for you, fight for your attention. And you're, this is kind of what I'm getting, Pisces. It's like somebody's going to come in with an agenda. I want Pisces. And you're like, I don't care what you want. And I just heard mission, mission, um, shenanigans. Y'all, pray for me today. It's my brain not working. I just heard challenge accepted. So it's kind of like they see it as a challenge. You, you don't want it as a challenge. I don't want you. I don't want you. There could also be, again, some sort of cycle ending that's wanting to come in for you. So for some of you, this could be going from being single to being in a relationship. This could be moving homes. This is a cycle. So cycles are different for everyone. Of course, all of us are ending cycles right now. But again, for each of you, it's going to be different. Letting something go, closing that chapter, and being ready to go to something new. You're very stuck on it, though. You're very stuck, very conflicted as well. It could be something that you've been waiting for for a long time. This is interesting. What else is on the way to Pisces? I'm getting strong energy that it could be a person. And look, as I said that, not a cup. Somebody wanting to bring you an offer of love. So somebody's going to be bringing you in an offer of love. I don't feel like this is the past person that you're rejecting. Who is this? Y'all, it could be. Spirit knows I ain't in control. They just let me think I am. 
yeah, somebody's going to come in with some sort of good communication. It could be somebody in the dark you don't know about. Somebody's hiding behind the scenes, Pisces. You don't know about this person. They could be a boss. They could own a business. I feel like this person could be, okay, they could be a boss. They could own a business. They could be in control in some sense, form, or fashion. But this person's hiding in the dark. They're wanting to come in and offer you something. They're going to be coming in here within the next few months. They want to collaborate with you. I feel like the energy of them wanting to collaborate with you overwhelms them. They could be having something going on right now in their environment. An ending that's needing to happen. Not necessarily. Again, for each of you, it's going to be different. Yeah, and as I said that, there could be some sort of codependency that they're having to deal with right now. Whoever this is is wanting to bring you an offer. They could be with somebody that's codependent. Hmm, I feel like you don't... Yeah, not a cup. Somebody's going to come in and ask you out. Somebody's going to make a choice to come in and ask you out. This person is very financially stable. But I do see that there, there's an ending that they're having to let go of before that they can come and bring you this offer. I do see that they're hiding in the dark. Yeah, and it's going to be a shock when this happens. You don't expect this with the tower. This could be somebody that you guys have literally never thought of. I'm really getting that. I'm really getting that. Showing yourself so much self-love right now that you're not paying attention to maybe some of the offers that could be coming in, some of the communications that you're having with people that do enjoy you. You're just reflecting on how you can move forward. What's going to benefit you? Really resting, reflecting, focusing on yourself, loving yourself, nurturing yourself, healing. I'm getting a lot of healing. And I feel like during your healing, Pisces, you are getting a lot of truth. A lot of truth and knowledge, epiphanies. Maybe seeing things differently than what you did before. And I feel like it is helping bring some sort of change and transformation. I feel like you are shedding a part of you and who you used to be with this death card. I feel like a part of you is dying. And I don't mean it in a horrible way. But I feel like and if... Oh, y'all, my stomach's growl, growling. Some of y'all could be hungry because I don't eat this early. So, one of you could be hungry for confirmation. But I feel like you're going to look back in a few years, Pisces, and be like, whoa, I'm a completely different person. Again, a part of you is dying right now. You're letting go of a part that no longer serves you in this energy of resting and you've needed this rest you needed the self-love and this reflection yes and see this is what i'm saying there's a lot that you don't know you could have so many options that you don't even know that you have that many options there could be multiple lovers in your environment that's wanting to offer you something and i'm only seeing two that you could think is love one of them there's a hard change one of them i feel like's burned you one of them's fully 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 emotionally stable grounded i feel like that person's financially stable as well one person i feel like's in your environment and you know that they like you but they keep it to their self but i feel like your spirit guides are trying to help you give you clarity on which one's going to be best for you and it's one of them that's hidden it's somebody that's going to come in and offer you something they're going back and forth right now on whether they should come in because they're going through some sort of sadness energy they could be having again something fall apart in their environment not necessarily a lover or somebody that they're with it could be it could be a love connection that they thought was going to last not necessarily it could be family. Something could be going on in their life right now that they didn't expect. But they have a lot of heavy energy, which is why they don't want to bring you something. But I feel like they're being pulled towards you. Again, an offer that you're not seeing. Yeah, and this person's wanting to come in and invest, but they're stuck. They're stuck. Maybe stuck on if you want the same thing. Because they're wanting something stable, grounded, something here, something to build on. That's what they're wanting. They're wanting to invest with you. They're wanting success, but I feel like they could be stuck on whether or not you're wanting that. Maybe you're in a different part of your life right now. There's something that they're needing to find out for you, Pisces. They could be definitely watching you, spying you, spying you, spying on you, trying to get some sort of information, learn more about you, and having strength to get through a hard time in their life. So I'm definitely getting that whoever this new person is, they're in the shadows. You don't know that much about them. They're going through a lot right now they want to invest with you they're trying to get to know more information but they're trying to get the strength to get through the season that they're in while they're doing that they're manifesting you because it's like they have this feeling that they could be really happy with you this is very interesting and they're very attracted to you but again moon card i feel like you don't know i feel like this could be someone who's going to 
flipping shock you when they come out of the flipping woodworks. As I said, that page of swords, it's going to shock you. It's going to shock you. They're going to come in and give a truth to you that they have a lot of passion for you and they really hope that you guys can make this work. They're a little guarded when it comes to giving their cup because again, I feel like they want something stable and they could be scared that, I feel like for some of you, you could be younger than them. That doesn't necessarily have to be true for this reading to resonate, but I do feel like this person is scared that you're in a different part of life than they are and that maybe you don't want the same thing. There's an attraction here. They're hoping, they're wishing, they want to offer you something, but they're very guarded because they want to make sure you, you're on the same page. They want commitment. They want to offer their love. They want to give something new. That's what they want, and they're waiting. There's some sort of balance that needs to happen in their environment before they can offer you this. Y'all, I'm running out of breath. And it's like this person is trying to finish stuff so fast that they're running out of breath because they want it done, and they want it done now. They want to bring in an offer. They want to choose a path. They have full clarity on that they want to ask you out. But again, I'm getting hard changes. And that's what I'm saying. Some sort of sadness and disappointment. They could have been dealing with somebody in their environment. I'm going to say it. Who was a player. And look, as I said that, look what just came out. They could have definitely had somebody that was a player that they dealt with who was codependent, who could have definitely cheated on them, lied to them. A lot of sadness and disappointment. Very interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Um, what else is coming Pisces way? What else is coming Pisces way? You are going through some spiritual growth. Yep, it's time to set some boundaries. Again, the answers that you seek are coming. So there's things that you don't know, but you will know very soon. Some of you, again, could be changing careers. There is a need for you to get grounded. And a lot of you are building your empire. So if you're working on some sort of side hustle or something you're wanting to be successful, I see that happening. I see things going in a good direction for you. But be very careful of throwing your money out of the window. Be careful of indulging. Be careful of people coming in and wanting you to indulge with them. I'm getting that. I feel like some people could see you abundantly and they want to indulge with you. There could be some sort of drama and conflict because of this. There's definitely some sort of changes that are going to be coming. You don't see it. And I feel like, again, you're going to get some sort of clarity, some sort of answer. It's going to be a shift, and it's something you've dreamed of, Pisces. I feel like it could be this person coming in. I feel like for some of you, you feel like you could never land somebody like this. I'm really getting that because I feel like whoever this person is that's coming in to catch, they have their shit together. I feel like they have a very good poker face, though. They don't wear their emotions on their sleeve. Letting you leave hurt me, too. So they don't like when you leave. Wanting to compromise in this, but not liking when you're not near them with them. So I really don't know if I want more with you come out in the reverse. A past person will be returning, just come out. I know how I'm feeling, but I'm not ready to open up. I prayed for you. I see a future for you. Or, I see a future with you. I see a future for you. <laughs> yeah, I look at your pictures often. Hmm. Okay. This is interesting. A lot of love's coming out of the woodworks. I definitely feel like y'all have more love offers around you than what you think. Give me a card for this new person that's coming in for Pisces. I want to see the overall connection for this new person. I have release your ex and healing family issues. I said they could definitely be releasing somebody. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation and worth waiting for. So somebody could have a conversation with you that they want you to wait for them to let someone go. I do see that there is somebody new that's coming in, and there is feelings here. 
Y'all could go on some sort of vacation or retreat together. But again, I see a lot of healing. And then possibly going through some sort of separation. Yeah. See, and I feel like you guys have been manifesting your soulmate. Trying to call them in. Trying to call in your new love. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Calling in your soulmate again. Let's get one of these. I want to see what comes out for this one. What is for this connection? This new connection. Second chance. Interesting. We have twin flame. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a twin flame. Definitely. New person, please. Passion. Tons and tons of passion. Unavailable. Pisces, I feel like this is your damn past person. I feel like second chance and unavailable is this past person that's coming back that you're rejecting. Because you guys are on different pages. I feel like this new person coming in is the person that you can be open and vulnerable with. But I do feel like you're going to feel that with this person. Because they're going to be honest with you. Yeah, and they can apologize for something as well. I feel like somebody could give you an explanation. Look, me and my twain. Explanation? Yeah, because somebody here I feel like is wanting an explanation of what's going on. Again, that's that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Somebody could tell you, listen, I'm sorry that it's taking so long. I'm sorry that I'm having to do this. I'm sorry that I couldn't meet you when I was open, available, ready, that I'm having to let all of this go. This is interesting. All right, we're going to leave this here for today. Have a blessed day.